Hi, this is Shaw TV's Kevin Hirschfield. It is almost Halloween, and of course, that means looking good for going out trick-or-treating or going to a party or a social or anything like that. Now, when it comes to makeup, the gory look is the hottest trend these days. We've got local makeup artist Jasmine Doolin here, and she's gonna show us a few very haunting trends. I'm gonna be doing a zombie wound on her face, so it's gonna look like it's like ripped open at the face like that. Um, I find that that's most popular. I've seen lots of people try and do it. Um, it's pretty easy to do. I think it's because of Walking Dead. Uh, since that show came out, people are all zombie. Zombie all the time. Like I've noticed, like I've gotten lots of people, like for the main uh, thing that I'm gonna be doing this Halloween is zombie. This is an easier one for me. Um, it doesn't take long. Really, you need a hair dryer the skin latex, the liquid latex, I guess you can call it, and scar wax, and then fake blood. It's a very big necessity. I find the fake blood just makes everything work. People are fascinated by horror movies. Like, it's always been like a huge thing, I think, for everybody, horror movies, so then people really like to do the gore without it actually being real. <laughs> to cover her eye, I'm gonna use this. It's just like a piece of like a nylon. I just cut into that so she can still see out of it, which is good. So she's not going to be completely like not able to see in one eye if you're going to a party or anything like that. And if you want, you can keep on building up, building up around it to make it look even deeper. Like I'll see an idea and then I just kind of like do my own thing. Like that's what all of my creations have been. I usually just do it on myself too. So it's just like new for me to do it on somebody else. To do burns, I pretty much just use, it's, it's the easiest. I'm using liquid latex and then you dry it and then you can peel it. The cool thing about liquid latex is when it dries, you can peel it and mold it into whatever you want. And then you just need, say, some blush to fill in the wound. And then to irritate it, I'll use death wheel and some stage blood. Too gory? I don't think so. I don't know, there could be, but. I don't, not in my books. I mean, I don't know. I really like the gore type stuff. That's like my favorite. 